Hi, I'm Brandon Donaldson, and in this video, I'm going to be covering debugging Angular and setting breakpoints. I want to show how easy it is to set up your project in VS Code and debug away. So let's get started. First off, I want to show you my GitHub project that I've laid out, a README with all the instructions I've used to set up my project. I generated my application based on the Angular guide for setting up my local environment. After that, I set up my launchers based on the VS Code recipes from Angular CLI. So let's get started. What I want to do is show how simple it is to add the launchers to the VS Code configuration so I can launch my Angular application debugging experience from VS Code. So what does that mean? There's two things I need to do. First, I want to create a launcher configuration so I can launch Chrome and start the ng-serve experience. What does that mean? I went to VS Code Recipes. I copied the launch configuration. And there's three launch configurations in VS Code Recipes, but I'm going to only concentrate on one in this video. Follow me for more tips and tricks in the future episodes with the client and server context, both together with different configurations within test environments and so forth. But today I'm concentrating on launching Chrome and launching the debugger so I can set breakpoints. So the very first thing is after I generated my project and I named my project client because I'm going to add a server configuration later. In this case, I've changed the name from Chrome and added a little bit more verbose context. So I want to launch ng serve and it will launch Chrome. This type of launcher is based on Chrome. It will launch Chrome, but it also has a, a pre-launch task that will start npm start. The URL will be localhost 4200. And the most important piece here is the web root. Where is the root of my project? Now I've imported the project and the root of my project will have more than one directory or more than one app per se. So it is one directory deeper and that's in the client. Now it could be named something different or I could directly load up the project from VS Code from the root of my application. The rest is boilerplate. I won't cover the nitty gritty on those properties. So the next thing I need to do is add the task.json to the VS Code configuration. And what does that mean? So that means when npm start starts up, it needs to run a task, and this is how it listens and fires this task off. But the most important piece here, because I copied this from the Angular CLI project, I don't need to understand the nitty gritty at first. But I do need to understand which workspace directory it's actually running from in the context of my development environment. So I set the current working directory under the options property or object, and I wanted to set that to workspace folder, and that's a dynamic variable it adds. And that means it's the root of the project from which VS Code is running from. And then I added my client directory, the app name of my Angular project. Okay, so that was really easy. I've set up two things, the launch configurations to launch ng serve and Chrome, and the task to set off the, the experience for Angular. Okay, so let's see this in action. I'm going to go over to the run context and I'm going to go up to the runners or launchers and I can see the launch in G serve and Chrome. Before I do that, let me just clear the breakpoints I set in an earlier session. So I'm going to launch the debugging experience. The very first thing that happens is Angular will compile the project. Once it's done with that, it will host an embedded web server and load up Chrome. And it loaded up Chrome and localhost 4200. So that was really sweet. As you can see, it's really simple to launch and run the debugging experience from VS Code. Now let's say I'm in to my application development and I want to inspect what is happening in the logical process. So I want to break along the way so I can inspect variables and inspect the stack. So how would I do that? Well, let me find some source code to show an example of how to set a breakpoint. And you've probably done this, but I just want to show you. So let's just find some source code. I'm going to go to the appcomponent.ts and I've added some source here. One is the constructor or when the class is initialized. And I've added a lifecycle hook called ng after view in it. So I want to break on the constructor when the class is initialized into an object. I want to see what's going on. And then I want to break on after the view is initialized. So let's see that in action. So I'm going to go over to Chrome and reload the page. And voila, the process has stopped or paused in the constructor. 
So that was really easy. So I could inspect the process. Okay, let me resume and go to the next breakpoint. All right, this is after the view has initialized, and I can see it's not quite there yet on the right, but it has initialized. It looks like it looks like the browser has one more operation to do. But in this case, I want to inspect the stack. Now I can see the title is set to client. All right, well, I won't go into this in a great deal of context because I have a feeling you know what breakpoints and stack inspection and variable inspection are all about. But the challenging pieces are, getting all of the wiring together so it actually boots up and runs in VS Code properly. And if you use the Angular CLI VS Code recipes, it really makes it easy to set up your VS Code debugging experience. So that really wraps up the simplicity of debugging in VS Code today. Thanks for watching me debug Angular today. Follow me for more tips and tricks on debugging, and I'll catch you later.